Thank you for tuning in, I'm Watch Eric. Now today I'm gonna to be going over with you one of the latest acquisitions to my collection. Throughout the years, the collection has changed. I've added, I've depleted, I've moved things around. Sometimes I just said, hey, let's wipe everything out, let's start all over again. But this particular watch has been with me the whole time. The thing is now, it's got an added twist. Now what watch is that? My beloved Rolex Date A2 in 41 millimeter. So I think that if it's possible, every single person should have a day date in their collection, no matter what size you like, whether it's the 36 millimeter, the 40, or my personal preference is the 41. You see, the thing is that these watches come in several different dials, and it's interesting to always hear what dial everybody likes. Some like more the black, some like more the lighter shade, some like the traditional Champagne Roman, I call it the Tony Soprano, which is very, very, simple and classic. But the thing is, with the Day Day 2s, they made some very select dial options that have always caught my eyes. You see, my favorite Day Day 2 of all time has always been the rose gold with the black dial, with the diamonds and the sapphires in the six and nine. What a stunner, very hard to get. I've been after one for years. Now, what happens is, is that during this process and this journey, because watch collecting, let's just face it, it's pretty much a journey if you really like it and you do it right. I've had my day date and I've actually said, hey, you know what? I want to get a black dial. I've acquired a black dial, I've put a black dial, used it for a while. The thing is, is that I ran into an opportunity to buy the Champagne Baguette and Ruby dial. And here it is. I actually got it and I am stoked. Let me just tell you something about this dial. It ain't cheap. These dials are very, very expensive, a lot more than many people are willing to pay for. If you look around on the internet, the prices for this watch, I mean, a regular Day Day 2 will run you anywhere around twenty-eight dollars to $30,000 nowadays, even up to thirty-one five. I've seen them as high as thirty-two. The second you have the diamond and ruby dial, you're in the 50s. That's how big of a difference this dial made. To make a long story short, I pretty much paid a Batman for this dial. I know that sounds crazy, especially in today's market right now, but I just had to have it. And for me, it was the closest thing that I can get to the beloved rose gold one that I like. Ideally, I like to have all three of them, including the white gold version, which is also a nice one with the baguette dials and the blue sapphire six and nine. But hey, Talk about a stunner here. This totally takes my day date going from a $30,000 range to the 50. Yes, a dial can make that big of an impact. Now I know this dial is not for the faint of heart, you know, just to think that you're paying the price of a Rolex GMT Batman for the price of a dial, it just sounds crazy. It's not the first time I've done this before. Years ago, I actually bought for my Yacht Master 40 millimeter in yellow gold. I actually bought the mother of pearl dial that brings the whole ruby numbers all the way around, the ruby indicators all the way around. That dial alone cost me two watches. At that time, I thought it was a bit much, but I actually traded two watches that I had at that time for a dial. I traded a Corum Bubble Skeleton, don't even ask, and I also traded a Breitling Chronomat 44. At that time, I thought, man, I'm paying $7,000 for that dial because I traded two watches, 3,500 a piece for that dial. But nowadays, I am happy that I did that. Why? Because both of those watches right now in the market are probably worth from 1,500 to 2,000 where the dial has always remained a solid 7,000. So the question is, is 10 to $15,000 too much for this dial? I mean, I don't know, you gotta go ahead and try to find one. It's so hard to get one right now that you can't even acquire it. And for me, it was always my second favorite after the Rose Gold. Right now, the Rose Gold Day Day 2s are fetching such a high number that instead of me going out and trying to buy that, you know what? I'm actually very happy with this acquisition and this is the latest addition to my collection.
So thank you for watching. Also, comment below if you think it was excessive to pay the price of a Rolex Batman GT for a Day Day 2 dial. And don't forget to like and share. Also, subscribe to my channel. Also, follow me on my new TikTok account, Watch.Eric, where I'm going to be posting interesting little videos every day about watches.